Please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, BHS. I'm Trace Vanable. And I'm Eden Savoy, and, and welcome, welcome to Bash TV. TV. Today is Tuesday, November 9th, making today the official 54th day of school and day two of the cycle. The lunch menu for today will be open faced turkey sandwich, stuffing, mashed potatoes, corn, fruit, and milk. The breakfast menu for tomorrow will be assorted cereal, juice, and milk. A college fair will be held on Thursday, November 11th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. at the Luzerne County Community College campus in Nanticoke. More than 50 colleges and university representatives as well as U.S. Armed Forces representatives will be present with information on their programs and to answer questions. There will also be a financial aid session at 6.30 p.m. All high school students and parents are welcome to attend. Seniors and juniors, the following colleges will have an admissions representative here to speak with the interested students please sign up in the guidance office. Marywood University on November 17th and Millersville University on November 18th. For some exciting news, this Friday, November 12th, will be a teacher in service day. There will be no school for students. Seniors and juniors, the ASFAB will be given here on Monday, December 6th. Interested students should sign up in the guidance office before November 17th. There is no cost to take the test and no military obligation. Well, that's it for the main desk. Now let's hear from Connor with sports. Thanks, Jason Eden. I'm O'Connor. Let's take a look at the scores from Friday and the sports for tonight. On Friday, in varsity football, Berwick defeated Wallen Pompack 37-17 in their playoff quarterfinal. Spencer Kishbaugh and Ben Knorr both picked up two touchdowns. Rowan Slabinski also added a touchdown. Kishbaugh had an interception, returning it 85 yards for one of his touchdowns. Brendan Hinkle also made a 33-yard field goal and made a touchdown saving tackle on a Berwick kickoff. For tonight's sports, varsity volleyball is away with Bethlehem Catholic at 5 p.m. with a dismissal time of 1.45 p.m. Any girl in 9th through 12th grade interested in playing softball in the spring, please stop by Coach Johnson's room 35 to sign up. More information will be shared for this season later this month. Let's check in with Morgan for FYI to see what's happening around BHS. Thanks, Connor. I'm Morgan. Let's get started with FYI. The November SAD meeting will be held on November 11th at 7.30 a.m. or 2.40 p.m. in the library. Tie-dyeing for Tree Fest will be done after the afternoon meeting. The Berwick Elks Lodge is looking for student volunteers to help set up and clean up for the Veterans Day dinner this Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Interested, stu interested students should see Mrs. Curry in the guidance office. The homecoming ceremony and dance will now take place on Saturday, November 13th beginning at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. Tickets for the dance are on sale in the guidance office. Tickets are $10 each in advance and $15 at the door. Homecoming ceremony is $2 at the door. Guest passes must be submitted to Mr. Bennett in the front office for any student who does not attend Berwick High School. All guest passes must be submitted for approval by tomorrow, November 10. Students who would like to hear information on the, on the Upward Bound program should sign up in the guidance office. The information session will be held on will be held tomorrow, November 10th, during period seven. Current Upward Bound students will be available to answer questions. Well, that's it for today's episode. To conclude, we'll leave you with today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Josephine Hansen, Connor McCauley, Jacob Orner, and Carrington Reader. 